Somebody ever told you that you are great or you are a human being and you are alive? There are three battles, the greatest battles of your life that you must never lose. And you must fight them, whether you like it or not. The first battle is battle of identity. Who am I? You may know who you are, but if people don't know who you are, your knowledge of who you are will be useless. Two, battle of recovery. You have to know who you are before you can recover who you are. Because who you are is a spiritual property. It has to come into manifestation. You need to recover it. Who you are is a spiritual ID. And you are a physical ID. So your spiritual must come to your physical. Many a times people do deliverance. They get to maybe a little bit of who they are. And then they give up. Or some get to, a few get to recover. But that you recovered something does not mean it's now in your hand. Everything you recover returns to your destiny table. They don't immediately show up physically. And that's why you can pray, 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 pray. And you even get a revelation of victory, but there's no evidence in the physical. Am I talking to somebody? Hello? So, that takes us to the third battle. And that third battle is one we are going to deal with today. We've already dealt with battle of identity. We have dealt with the battle of recovery. Now we are going to deal with battle of manifestation. When you discover who you are, then you recover who you are, you must manifest who you are. Those are very critical stages. Of all the three, they are all difficult. But the worst is the battle of manifestation. Who you are in the spirit is a trouble to the devil. But who you become in the physical is a terror to the kingdom of darkness. Therefore, who you are in the spirit, yeah, they can try to stop it. They can fight you there. But when it becomes real in the physical, you are a disaster to them. Satan has not failed as long as you have not manifested. Hello? Hello? Am I talking to somebody? I know it's, it's a deep thing. But I'm, I'm trying to be slow. Satan has not failed in your life. Meaning he still has some chances. As long as you have not manifested your spiritual identity in the physical. He still has a fair chance. Am I talking to somebody? And Christians have this big problem. They don't know these stages of battle. They stop somewhere. And that's why the devil said, one, a destiny is not dead as long as it can manifest. But a destiny that has failed to manifest is dead.
The day you die physically, your destiny dies. Whatever you could not manifest before you take your last breath is dead. You shall fulfill your destiny. And that's why Satan and his troops study man diligently. They study us. They study the psychology of man. They know how to tamper you and deceive you and manipulate you so that you don't get to manifestation. If you get there, they can't stop you. Am I talking to somebody? You notice that when you pray, 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 you begin to have some openings, 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 opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are recovery. Now you discover that suddenly the opportunities begin to get frustrated. You begin to get frustrated. Begin to get frustrated. One after the other, they are dying or they are being delayed. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they are being frustrated from manifestation and you have not known how to fight the battle of manifestation is different from two other battles. Are we talking? I, I, I'm just praising it up. I'll, I'll show you in the Bible. We have to. That's our authority. So tonight, oh sorry, sorry, this morning, <laughs> hallelujah, this afternoon rather, we want to deal with the battle of manifestation. If you get this battle done, I want to tell you one thing. You will never cease to manifest. People will wonder whether you are doing magic. Tell them it's not. There is something you learned. That is not. Christians have forgotten. But it was a very potent weapon. In the days of the early church. The early church was feared. Because they know how to manifest. Manifesting is not rolling on the ground. That is uh, demons uh, manifesting. You are star manifesting. You are glory manifesting. You are identity manifesting. It does not require you rolling on the ground. That is a different thing. Am I clear? So the battle of manifestation is not the battle for you to roll on the ground. It's for you to bring out who you are. What God made you. Who God made you. At the right time. Listen. We have things we don't do. And we stop halfway. And when we stop halfway, I cry in my spirit. I know this person has stopped. And then suddenly, after a while, you see the person coming with a complaint. Pastor, I have this dream. Pastor, I have that dream. And when you check all the dreams, the enemy is already stopping the person. Stopping all the manifestation. That's why we took down powers of destiny stop us. One of the worst ID problem is not just you knowing who you are. It is what you are supposed to do, where you are supposed to have who you are manifested, recognizing you. Oh, I hope I put it well. <laughs> if you have a dog, let me use an example. A dog. You keep a dog. Amen? The day the dog fails to recognize you, he will bite you. Huh? Good. If you are coming with somebody to the dog, and that person is an unfamiliar person, the dog will welcome you. But if that person comes near the dog, will... there's a crisis of ID. 
The world is a field. And the field has your portion in it. Oh, please. I need to be deep today. There's no other way. The, the field has your portion in it. Your portion is what your ID is supposed to do for God who created you. Understand me? Now, let's say you are supposed to be an inventor. Somebody who is an inventor, a scientist. And until the scientific world recognizes you, you are a failure. You might even accept that you are, an, you are you may even know you are a scientist. But as long as the scientific world does not recognize you, you have not fulfilled your destiny. You have not manifested. Am I clear right now? Eh? It is like your dog recognizing you. Then it will welcome you. So if you are a scientist, the scientific world must recognize you. Then you manifest. Some people call it the battle of influence. But I like to call it the battle of manifestation. Because influence can come from anywhere. There are very many bad influences. Amen. So I don't like to use the word influence. I'd like to use a better word, manifesting. Manifesting the glory of your ID. After you have recovered who you are. We don't know how to fight it. Many of you don't know how to fight it. And as even try to make some people understand, they don't understand. So today, I want to show you something about Christ. Let's see it from the eyes of Jesus. He knew who he was. But did the world know him? First John. Chapter 1. Verse 1 to 5. First John. And verse 10 to 11. First John chapter 1, 1 to 5. 10 to 11. First John chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. John. John, not first John. John. John, John chapter 1. John chapter 1. 1 to 5 and yeah. 10. 10 to, 10 to 11. 11. John, the book of John, not first John. The book of John. Gospel according to St. John. The gospel. Chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. 1 to 5. 10 to 11. And 10 to 11. Uh -huh. In the beginning was the world, uh -huh. and the word was with God, uh -huh. and the word was God. Uh -huh. It was in the beginning with God. Uh -huh. All things were made through him, uh -huh. and without him, nothing was made that was made. Uh -huh. In him was life, mm -hmm. and the life was the light of men. Mm -hmm. And the light shines in the darkness, mm -hmm. and the darkness did not comprehend it. Eh? What is comprehend? Understand. That was the first identity crisis Jesus had. He knew who he was. Never in doubt. We shall prove that. But the problem was the place where he's supposed to plant his seed, the farm, his portion, the world, the darkness, did not understand him. There are some of you that are sitting down and looking at me. I'm talking exactly the reason why you have a problem. Somebody has made you, you are prayed, you even know who you are, but who you were sent to refuse to accept who you are. How will you manifest then? You are supposed to be a king until they accept you. You are not a king. David was anointed, but Saul was on the street. Nobody ever called David king, but he was anointed king. 
as long as Saul was on the scene. So David had to run. David fought the real battle of manifestation. He knew he was a king. He knew he has been anointed. But where is the throne? Am I talking to somebody? Where is the throne? You have a throne. Your throne is your assignment. Your throne is your divine assignment. His throne was to be a godly king in Israel. And he became the greatest king ever. That's why they still have the star of David. But was it easy? Oh no. That's why I tell you the battle of manifestation is the greatest battle you ever face. Because every stop will be brought to stop you. What you are in the spirit does not is a challenge to the devil. Yes, it is. But what you become by the time you get it and it becomes real is a disaster to them because they can't stop it. When David entered as a king, the devil tried many times. Absalom, this or that, by Sheba to take it away from him. He could not. Those battles were not as terrible as the battle of six years of cave life. That the whole army of Israel, the people he was supposed to lead, had to fight pursuing him from cave to cave under the command of the de facto king. So, do you know that the place you are supposed to sit, somebody is sitting there now. Somebody must give way for the other, and it must not be you. So as long as that person is sitting on where you are supposed to sit, you have not manifested. Even if you have a prophecy, or God came and tell you, you are this or that, but somebody is sitting there. My dear, you have not until that person is out. Today we are going to take them out. Yeah. Am I making myself clear now? Yeah. yeah. Some of you are supposed to be married. But somebody is sitting on your marital glory. By witchcraft. Yeah. Now you are. Even God may even show you your husband. Some people wrote me. God even showed them their husband. Showed them blah, blah, blah. But they are, they are waiting for the man. They can't go hunting for the man. Hey, I'm looking for the person with this face. People will say, hey. This girl is ready for jiggy jaga. <laughs> Amen? No, it becomes out of the norm. They say you are something else. They call you names. Isn't it also? You lose respect and dignity. No. That's why it's a terrible battle. Let me put it this way. Before we go to that scripture, finish it. Do you know that when you want to have a dealing with a non-believer, the weakness is not on your side. The weakness is on the side of the non-believer. You want to sign a contract. You are a child of God. God says you are going to get a contract. And I'll give you a contract. Pa, 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 pa. The contract shows up. And it is with a, somebody who is not a believer. You have, you have two problems. Or rather one problem. Let me put it. I don't want to make it two. One. What is that problem? You are strong in the law. But the unbeliever is your witness. So if the devil wants to stop the manifestation of that tender or that contract, he goes to the weaker point and he stops it. Am I talking to somebody? That's the problem. That's the problem. You want to get into a job and that job is your profession. Eh? God says, I'm giving you that job. And he gave it to you. Remember, when God said Israel, I'm giving you the land flowing with milk and honey. Eh? Were there no people there? Were there no people there? Of course, there was no place that was not uh, occupied. It was Canaan. People were there. Yeah. Now they had to go there. But that land, the moment God said, I'm giving you that land, every other person there is out. Spiritually. Now, they have to make it to happen physically. You 
You understand me now? That's where many of you are standing. That's where you are. You don't know the battle of manifestation. You have never had it. Today, you shall hear it. Amen. As I'm talking now, they are G3. Because they know there's something you're about to learn. There are secrets of the kingdom. And the Bible says it is the will of God to show us, reveal those secrets to us. Say thank you, Jesus. Okay. Now, how many years did it take David to become a king? Some say seven years. Some say seven and a half. And when David became a king, he didn't even get everywhere. He got only two tribes. Judah. Benjamin, Judah. And he reigned there three and a half years. So, has he fully manifested? What stopped the other one? No, the other side say, no! You will not manifest here. So, they set up Abner, they set up one lame dog, remaining child of uh, King Saul, they set up trouble, there was war between the house of David and the house of Saul. What are they fighting? David's manifestation must be stopped. I think I got you now. We always make that mistake. That's where we stop. Remember? The darkness did not understand him. Not that he didn't understand himself. He did. He did. He knew himself. Uh huh. Read. Verse what? Verse ten and eleven. To eleven. Mm -hmm. It was in the world, mm -hmm. and the world was made. It through was him. in the world that he made, and the world did not know him. They didn't know him either. He came to his own. He came to even his own people, town, and his own did not receive him. They didn't receive him. So how would he be king? How would he be Messiah? Battle of manifestation. In fact, there was a time they sent the Pharisees, Pharisees, go and ask him, who do you say you are? What do you make of yourself? On whose authority are you operating? Even at a point, Jesus, in Matthew chapter 16, he said, who do men say that I am? And some said it's this, some say it's Elijah, some say it's the only one person got it. And he told Peter, I said, Peter, flesh and blood did not tell you this. You read my destiny book. You shall read your destiny book today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. Second scripture. John chapter 4. Verse 10 to 12. John chapter 4, verse 10 to 12. Yeah. Jesus answered and said to her, mm -hmm. If you knew the gift of God, if you knew who you are dealing with, and who it is who says to you, Did you see? Jesus was still battling with this, uh, be, being able to operate in his farm. Even the woman that is to save did not recognize her at the pool. Just listen. Uh -huh. And who oh, it is who says to you, give mm -hmm. me a drink. Uh -huh. You will have asked me, ask him and he will have given you the living water. Uh -huh. The woman said to him, uh -huh. sir, sir, you have nothing to draw water. You have nothing to give me. You don't even know how to draw water. And the well is deep. The well is deep. Where then do you Imagine, get that living water? He's telling the creator of water, the creator of heaven and earth. He said the well is too deep for you. Everything the devil did so that you will not manifest will backfire them all. In the name of Jesus. 
There is one country that is called Sahar Saharawi. Yeah, you will not even understand me. You don't even know what I'm talking. Sahara Saharawi or whatever, African Republic. It's by Morocco. But it's not recognized. Some countries recognize them, some don't recognize them. Morocco is still holding them as Lord, uh, their Lord over, over them. Whether they like it or not, they've been fighting for their independence. They are not registered with the UN as a country. They cannot send ambassadors except to they send representatives to some people who recognize them. That's all. So their space is being occupied by Morocco. Okay, let's go near home. There was a time when Namibia was South West Africa, whatever. It was part of South Africa. There was nothing like Namibia. When I married my wife, there was nothing like Namibia. You couldn't call Namibia. They called Namibia, they know Namibia, but nobody in the world accepts it as Namibia. For Namibia to take his place, it has to take blood. Battle of manifestation is a terrible battle. Up to now, Namibia is still fighting for its space. Am I talking to somebody? You notice that you go to grade 10, they leave you. When you go to grade 12, they begin to watch you. Where is he going to? What's wrong with this one? What is does he know? Does he know? Does he know? Does he know who we are? Eh? What rubbish is he trying to do? Where is he from? Is he not from this bloodline? Does he know? They look at the acts of things that can stop you. Say, eh, okay. <laughs> it's terrible laugh. That can take your life. Every power. Every power. That says I will not manifest. I, will I overthrow you. 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 be seated. There was a time when this geographic entity that is called Namibia belongs to somebody else. But it belongs to some people also. People who should assert themselves. You. Isn't that so? But that time you couldn't do it. Now that you entered, nobody can stop you. That is what I'm talking about, manifestation. The devil is more destroyed when you enter where you are supposed to be. Today you enter there. The way they do it is different. In the spirit. It's not like carrying bullets and bones and all. It's more vicious. It's more audacious. And that is what we mean when we say harvesting the supernatural. To harvest the supernatural is to make spiritual things appear in the physical. To harvest the supernatural is to make your spiritual ID become physical identity. You will no longer be called uh, uh, 
revolutionary struggles. No. You are called a nation. Other nations recognize your sovereignty. Other nations send ambassadors to recognize your You send ambassadors to them. You, exchange, you can make your laws. You can live under your own laws. You have your territory. You defend your territorial integrity. And etc. etc. All those things could never have happened if South Africa was still here and overseeing Namibia. So, some of you are just in the struggle. You are doing guerrilla warfare. Hit and wrong. You have not been able to establish your territory. Today you shall establish. Yeah. And that requires harvesting who you are and making it happen in the physical. Oh! You will meet gorillas. You will meet chimpanzees. You meet giants. You meet all kinds of uh, 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 goliaths that have uh, 10 eyes and 10 fingers, uh, uh, 20, 20, 20 fingers in one hand. You meet people who are, who take pleasure in making people dry to stop them. You meet human beings whose heart is outside. It's not in their body. So they don't feel anything. You know the reason why the word cruelty is in the dictionary. Just to make sure you don't show up. Say any power. Any power. Using people to stop me. I kill you. 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 In Jesus. You may be seated. I'll repeat again. Say, to harvest supernaturally is to make spiritual things appear, appear in the physical. Two, is to make your spiritual ID become physical identity. No longer will they call you struggle people, uh, this uh, gorilla, this, no. They say the nation of so, so, so with established territory, constitution, leadership, army, and so on. To harvest the supernatural is to make what is written in the book of life, your book of destiny. Your book of destiny. Whatever is written there, to make it a physical reality. If God says you should have ten children, you have them. You see them by your hand, around your table. If God says you are going to be a champion, you see yourself as a champion. Not, not that you others don't know. No, you are recognized as a champion. Are we talking? God told Job one terrible, terrible reality. And every time I read that scripture, I look at myself and say, oh God, forgive me for being so weak. There was something Job would have done that would have ended his suffering. But he didn't do it. So the thing stretched. And his friends made a mice meat of him. Say, every problem expander in my life. prayer some of you are thinking of what I said there are powers what is the pro problem expander powers that make your problem bigger than they should be they are the major powers that confront manifestation every problem expander in my life
E. May be seated. Job 36, verse 12 to 13. Job 36. Job 36. Eh, sorry, 38. Job 38. 38, yeah. Verse Job 38. 12 to 13. 12 to 13. Yeah. Have you commanded the money? He said, Job, why are you so why are you soliloquizing? Why are you um doing some mel melancholic uh, verses? Have you talked to the morning to tell them what must happen in your life? Did you tell the morning why you must be manifested? Did you tell your problem how it should end? That is a battle of manifestation. Eh? Read. Start again. Job chapter 38, verses 12 to 13. 13. Mm -hmm. Have you commanded the money? Yes. Since your days began? Since you were born. Have you ever told the money? Hey, money! You must favor me. Hey! I'm going to this co contract today. I must sign. Hey! You know, we like to pray, Father, give me. Father, mm -mm. We never say, hey! My husband appeared now. I don't know who you are, but today you must show up. When you confront you people with that type of issue, your voice becomes small. You know why it's small? Your faith evaporates. Are you sure? I didn't call Jesus. I didn't call God inside it. Maybe it's not complete. Maybe this prayer is not, you know, it's not a prayer. A command is the highest form of faith. <laughs> it's the highest form of faith. God didn't tell Job, pray to me. He didn't say, Job, did you pray to me? He said, Job, did you command the money? Tell the money what he must do. Mm -hmm. You wake up in the morning, you go away. All court people, they read this scripture, they use it. Before they step out of the house. They go to the altar and command the day and collect it. Pocket it. And you are going into a day that somebody has pocketed. All those coven people, they command the day. Children of God are always left out. But the truths are in the word of God. When you read some of the Psalms, you see how David was commanding the day, commanding the situation. Many, I can't go through there because there are many. Many commanding. He wasn't praying, he was commanding. How many of you have seen some of them? Yeah. Uh -huh. Have you commanded the morning since your days began uh -huh. and caused the dawn to know its place? <coughs> and caused what? The dawn. To know what? To know its place. He must take its place and not miss it. That not it, by one second, not by one minute. Mm -hmm. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth uh -huh. and the wicked be shaken out of it. Did you hear that? If we told the morning that these people will not stay in my world with me, shake them out. Amen. We're about to do it now. <laughs> it's not prayer. Yeah, Lord. No, there's no prayer. When I'm commanding, I'm not praying. I say. I say. I say. And it will happen. Your prayer is likely to be blocked. But your command, nobody can block it. When you command, nobody can block it. I'm teaching something good here today. Somebody clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Some of you have prayed all the prayers in the books, but nothing changed. Why? Because you prayed all the prayers, you got to the level of recovery, but you have not prayed 
you have not commanded you have not manifested so the problem looks as if they are there but they are already dead the headless chicken theory remember good your headless chicken must die today Why should I share my world with a wicked? Verse 13 says, have you told it to do what? Read it again. To do what to the wicked? That is my take hold of the ends of the earth the, and the, the wicked. Where will it take hold? The four corners of the world. And shake it. One word, though. Your word. Shake the world. Until the wicked will no longer be found that will stop you. <laughs> Somebody saw Elisha. He Go, you bald headed man. Ooh. What was he doing? Elisha just collected anointing. And he has not settled. The man is just trying to find out himself. He just got one first miracle. He, the, he say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? He didn't, he didn't say, where is the God of Elisha? Mm-mm. He still went back to tap the anointing of his master. Meaning, he has not fully manifested. He was looking for a way. And then the devil sent some group of miscreants, hooligans, to go and then test his, make him lose his faith. So that the anointing will dry up. He turned around. He said, Bear, come out of the forest, eat them. Did you hear him say, Father or God of Elijah? No, 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 no. For the first time, he didn't say, Where is the God of Elijah? For the first time, he said, Bear, come out of the forest, eat them. From that day, he never used, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Go and check it. He never. He will speak. When they said the water was bad, they said, bring me something. They said, put it there. When the woman said, uh, my Lord, my, my, uh, you know, my husband is late and he was a good uh, uh, servant, but he's owing and I want to take my sons. He said, what do you have? <laughs> Today you shall make it. I'm looking for somebody who will learn what I'm teaching now. If you do it, people will not only fear you, people will honor you. Amen. They will fear you and honor you. Yeah. <laughs> you will notice that your talking will slow down because you know that when you speak, something will happen. You will not talk anymore too much. When you see people talking too much, you walk away because you don't want to waste the word. When Peter said, silver and gold I don't have, was he praying? Eh? When he said, in the name of Jesus Christ, stand up and walk, was he praying? He was commanded. At the time Peter said it, remember, that was the first miracle he ever did. He was still looking for his identity. He just denied his matters three hot times. Then he preached the gospel. People gave their life to Jesus Christ. But there was no miracle more than that yet. So he was not sure. Then this man was waiting. Testing his manifestation. He said, look at me. There were two. Peter and John. He said, look at us. The man started saying to them. And the Bible said he was expecting something from them. Peter said, I don't have that money you are looking for. But I have something bigger. That will make you, instead of giving you money or giving you fish, I will teach you how to fish. So you have enough fish. In the name of my master. Oh yeah. I end your problem. Today I end somebody's problem. <laughs> Somebody's 
this problem. I answer by this problem. I terminate your problem. In the name of Jesus. first read John 14, 14. I thought it's for prayer. Then I read John 14, 13. He's seeing the same thing. See, there's a difference. Read it. John 14, verse 13. Mm -hmm. And whatever you ask in my name, mm -hmm. that I will do, mm -hmm. that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Uh, John 13. Verse 14. That's 14. That's 13. Is it 13? Now read 14. 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. The two are different. They are not the same. <laughs> People are looking at me. Say, whatever. Read the first one. Whatever. You do what? John 14 verse 13. 13. Uh -huh. And whatever you ask in my name, uh -huh. that I will do. That, that the what? Father may be glorified in the Son. That's what Peter did. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up. Father, in the name of Jesus. No, no, no. That's not what Peter did. Is that what he did? Eh? Even chatted with the man to position the man for a blessing. I position you for your blessing. Yeah. I am sent today to change somebody's story. It shall be your story. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. If everybody else will not get a testimony today, you shall be the one that will get this testimony. In the name of Jesus. I command the story of somebody here to change. Now. 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 In the name of Jesus. simpler. That is quick. Mm, Holy Ghost, help me. Okay. Let me look for one man and one woman. Come, drop your thing. Remove your quiet uniform. Come. Oh, what two women? Ah, one woman is already there. Where's the man? Hmm. I'm for somebody. And it's immediate, urgent. Hmm. Okay, come. Face the church. Command the powers of Botswana to begin to jump inside you from your father's house and to name themselves now in the name of Jesus. Well, begin to name yourself. They will name themselves. I command your two hands that you used to bake to begin to shake and shake away the things that they put on those two hands from your father's house. Only your hands shall shake. All of them shake away everything that is there that 
is there to stop you. Now, in the name of Jesus. They must not stop until they are all out. And it just say amen. amen. Did I pray? What did I do? Mm. I command all the ushers to begin to manifest. Now! In the name of Jesus. All the ushers. Is that clear? Did I pray? I commanded. When the Lord shows me some of you in problem, He doesn't expect me to pray. He expects me to command. I don't have time. Sometimes he, he, I have only one second. When he shows me, one second. I, I have nothing more than one second. If I want to say in the name of Jesus, it's out. I, I've lost the momentum. Am I, am I talking to somebody? You must learn it today. I can whip my hand. I've already done it before. I'm using simple things so you can get fit. I can whip my hand and somebody will begin to do some crazy things. Stop! I commanded it. It's not because I'm special. Mm -mm. You have the same power. The only thing is that you don't know how to use it. So somebody goes to somewhere, commands something and takes your things. And then you are still busy constructing prayer. There is time for prayer. There is time to command. And I will show you today. Hallelujah. Amen. No. Simple. The person will begin to talk. Today you are going to do it, eh? Eh? Yeah. Ah. I say you are going to do it. Yeah. And you shall begin to do it forever. Every usher, every choir here that the enemy has stolen their wedding, I command them to begin to jump. Now! I said jump! All the children that are there, that they have stolen their brain, I command them to begin to jump. Was I praying? Eh? Good. Clap for Jesus. Before you sit, pray this prayer. Every power of doubt. Die in my life. Commanded to be paid now. From now, you receive them and you come here and give testimony. Today, I am ready. You must learn it. 
Say power of doubt. I have no business with you. Die in my life. In Jesus. You may be seated. Joshua chapter 10. Verse 12 to 13. Don't t- Joshua 10. Joshua chapter 10, verse 12 to 13. 13. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. Uh-huh. And he said in the sight of Israel, uh-huh. Son, Son, stand still stand over Gibeon. Stand still. <laughs> and moon, moon in the valley of Aijalon. <laughs> he told the people where to stand still. So the sun stood still, uh-huh. and the moon stopped, uh-huh. till the people had revenge upon their enemies. Is yeah. this not written in the book of Joshua? Uh-huh. So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, uh-huh. and did not hasten to go down uh-huh. for about a whole day. And there has been no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord heeded the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. It shall be repeated now. It shall be repeated now. The time they wrote it, there was no day before it and after it. But now there shall be one. I am decreeing to somebody here. Everything God created shall stand still until you shine. They shall stand still until you shine. They shall stand still until you shine. They shall stand still until you shine. It starts now. Where you go for position, where you used to get a position, it will evaporate. Where you don't get help, there shall be help. Yeah. Everything will stand still to recognize you, to welcome you, to and make sure that you shine. Amen. What does it mean to stand still? It means they will not walk against you. Amen. I speak it again for somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to. I say under the anointing, everything that needs, that God created in this world, visible and invisible, that must hear, and they all hear, I command them to stand still until you shine. Starting from now. In the name of Jesus. Watch and see. You shall be blown away. That place where they rejected you, go there. And see them standing still to welcome you. Yeah. That cry that you have been crying to God. Oh Lord give me this thing. Whoever stood against it. I command them to stand still. And what you collected. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You that the serpent is living inside you. I command. Let that serpent receive quick notice. Now. Of your body immediately out of your body and forever. I'm waiting in the name of Jesus. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Pack it. Uh huh. The 
with notice has been issued. Aha. Uh -huh. Watch. Watch now. Some of you are shas. You might not be able to usher because you also have. Every serpent has received quit notice. Even if you are a member of the Akovun, you are sacked. Whatever will make that quit notice effective is happening now. No struggle. I must go. Serpent of gluttony. What are you waiting for? Leave. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a command. It must be obeyed. Yeah. If you are the serpent that one, it will be separated. And it shall say, Amen. Yeah. Clap for Jesus as you sit down. So, did Joshua pray? What did Joshua do? Joshua, a little one man, looked at the moon and said, Stop. And look, say, You must stop at that point. And look at the sun and say, Stop. You must stop at that point. He wasn't praying, he was issuing a command. Everything that needs to stop for you to get your victory, they are stopped now. Yeah. For your victory shall no longer be postponed. Yeah. As from this moment, it is done. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Who is fired up? And you are ready. Because you are going to do it. Say amen. amen. There are three things that must be that three things that affect manifestation. Three things. One, time. One, time. Why time? The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11, or even from verse 1, all of them. Say there's time for everything. Isn't it not so? There's time for what? Everything under the sun. So, there is a time for your manifestation. And I can show you. Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. But when the fullness of the time had come, mm -hmm. God sent forth his son. When what happened? Your fullness of time has come. Yeah. I, I think, look at me. I'm teaching something here today. I'm trying to make it simple. If I complicate it, we will not understand. So, I'm missing some things. Yeah, purposely. But let me tell you this. The fullness of time is the most critical thing for manifestation. God is time conscious. Tell your neighbor. Yeah. That's why even for Jesus to come, he has to be at the right time. Some of you have a big problem. The problem is that you miss your time.
And today we have to fix your time. If you miss your time, you miss your manifestation. Am I, am I, am I, I'm trying to be simple. Am I, are, are we clear? Yeah, the reason why you pray and nothing happens is that either in the process of manifestation, you don't have it, you don't know it, or you even probably know it, but you don't know the ingredients of manifestation. One of it is this. You must be manifested at the right time. One day I asked God, I said, why is it that I didn't start my ministry when I was younger? No answer. I said, I will have energy. No answer. Maybe that time I would have missed my, my meme. Maybe I would miss myself. I'm going to give birth to one big elephant. You never know. Eh? Today, the first thing we are going to put fix is your time. Amen. Don't ever joke with me. I will be red. I'm being nice now. When we start that thing, I will not be nice. Because I want to push your feet to where it can almost breaking point. It will not break. It will stand. Amen. And you shall overcome. Amen. I say you shall overcome. Amen. Look at the hands he's shaking. Everything they put in that hand must come out. After they come out, then you are free. They will not stop shaking until they all come out. Or until I tell them to. Mm. So somebody write for her. <laughs> Say my time. My time shall not be in the hands of my enemies. Say, 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 say. In Jesus. You may be seated. John chapter 7, verse 6. And Luke chapter 9, verse 51. John 7, 6. Luke. 951. John 7. 6. Verse 6. Yeah. Then Jesus said to them, uh -huh. My time has not come. My yet time has not come. Don't push me. Tell your neighbor, my time is my time. And I must have it today. But your time is always ready. Yeah, ready because they don't know who they are. When you're on assignment, there's a time. When you're not on assignment, you don't know your assignment, your time is always ready. Meaning, you, are, you don't know who you are. That's what Jesus was saying. Say, my time. My time. Why are you under the control of my enemies? Be released by fire! Be released! Be released! Be released! I want you to pray this prayer. Please pray it well. Every wicked thing that happened to my time. Cancelled by fire. Maybe see that many things can happen to your time. Your time can be delayed. Your time can be hijacked. Your time can be uh, postponed. They keep shifting it. Your time can be frustrated. They frustrate your time. Your time can be exchanged. Meaning, 
you have somebody's excess time. If a machine that is timed by another manufacturer is given to a time that is not its own, it will refuse to work. Isn't it so? It can't work because the timing is different. Every car has its own timing. The timing belt is not set general for every, every, everybody. No. Every manufacturer has its own timing for their timing belt. So if you don't have the timing proper, the engine will be looking at you. Everything that has happened to my time <laughs> that has stopped my manifestation cancel and backfire. Cancel and backfire. Cancel and backfire. In Jesus' name. That's what they did to you. I want to use you as an example today. I was saying I will disgrace them today. You see, you, you miss all your time. All your time are wrong. So the things don't know when to manifest. The first thing they did to you was to distort your time. They disorganized it. So sometimes you try to catch up, but you don't know what you are doing. And when we're praying this prayer, you are just rubbing around it. You are not taking it serious because you don't understand it. You are behind your ladder by 15 years. Yes. You can see them manifesting that she's behind her ladder. You cost it. After every service, we do something also. Because it's too much for us. Uh, yeah. Now we're about we to reverse it. Every, after every uh, uh, are you ready? Say every tortoise. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you're praying, when you're praying, God will show you a turtle. That turtle is to tell you that your timing has been shifted, or you show you a millipede or a centipede. Those are timing machines used by the enemy. Every turtle, every animal, used to manipulate my time of manifestation. Well, it's a very effective thing. How many of you have ever seen turtle in your dream, in your prayer? How many of you have ever seen some millipedes? Centipedes? Yeah. Hmm. Some of you don't even know. Every turtle, every centipede, every millipede, every satanic animal used to manipulate my time of manifestation. You are going to pray that prayer holding my hand. Yes. Every turtle. Every turtle. I pray. Every turtle. Every satanic animal. Used to manipulate my time of manifestation. what you are talking. You people are still joking. You, I'm not here to joke today. I'm just being nice now. When I start, I'm making the preparations, you are not ready. Let me tell you, you will not leave this service without your manifestation. 
we will not be praying useless prayers. No. Our prayers are effective. And they must show. Yes. You had. That's why I went there. When they finish service, they program a turtle. They put a turtle and say, that is Grace Hamwaka. Oh yeah, move. As he moves, that's how she should move. Today, I kill that turtle. Yeah. I kill those who put that turtle. Yeah. I disconnect her life from that turtle. Yeah. I want you to pray now. Are you ready? Yeah. My next levels. Why are you tied to a turtle? Why are you manipulated by a satanic animal? Disconnect my fire! Disconnect! This is a jumping prayer. I'm giving you the last chance. If you pray like that way, I will move on. You're on your own. But you will not be able to do what you want to do today. So pray it. Mad. You see what will happen. Everything God created. Used to manipulate my timing. Shout it loud. You are not jumping. Shout it, jumping. If you get a car five years before the time, it is not from God. When the fullness of the time came, please, I'm trying to teach you something. Eh? God will never let you get it before the time. That's not him. Now, if you get that before the time, or you get it after the time, you are no longer working on the timing of God. The enemy has taken over. So, when they, I'll just watch out. When they want to take some of you, what they happen is, they made you to be born earlier. You are supposed to be born in May. They give back to you in January. Yeah, yeah. They have distorted your time. You will no longer operate on your divine time. You are done. You are done. People, I am serious today. You are slowing me down. Don't let us stay here till long. No, we should be closing by now. Once, once, have you had? Once, yeah, I'm talking, I'm talking. I'm talking. Some of you are not listening to me. You better listen and pray. You are not praying. And that's why I'm not I'm move, moving forward. I will close. If you don't want us to go on, I will not close. I'm going to. You are going to. Pray well, you see. If you pray that prayer well, you see that hand will stop. So, when they take a star from out, up, they don't put the star on the timing of God. They distort it. The child, they will read from the destiny book, is supposed to come in, in, in June. They will make sure the child is born in March or January or, or, or even earlier. Once they do that, they have taken control of the timing of your destiny. Some of you, your mother does not know, did not know when you got conceived. She, before she discovered she was, she was, she, yes, she was already carrying you. Some months have gone, so she, she, 
miscalculated. Finish. They did it purposely. And because of that, they have taken control of your timing. Now they begin to work all their work because now they have the time. You are now living on the wrong time. God will never act against his time. No. We need to restore it. Let's start it like this way. Powers! That distorted my divine timing. see what will happen now. I'm going to pray, there, pray again. You will see what will happen. You will see that this is all your problem. That's why nothing is working. Just this one. We need to deal with them. If you pray this prayer very well, the other things can follow. Remember, we say there are three, three terrible battles in your life. Battle of identity, battle of recovery, and battle of manifestation. And today we are dealing with battle of manifestation. People know how to fight for identity. People know how to recover possess your possession. But people don't know how to manifest. Manifesting means what you are in the spirit coming to become physical. Today it must happen. Manipulating my divine timing. Watch out, watch, 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 aha, fire, fall, 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 this water, this water, this water. Watch now. They are always at the back. Watch and see. You see some backs are on fire right now. Some backs are on fire. The lower back, yes. Fire. Fire. Uh-huh. Let fire flow to that back. This one. This one. Only your fire. This one. Only your fire. This one. Only your fire. Now let, let me pray it in a simpler language for the last time. And I, I want you to pray crazy. Powers! That change God's timing for my things.
Open your eyes. Look at me. I want to teach you. You know why I don't want you to? I want you to put this in your heart. If you not have enough, go back to the live stream and check it. Now, when the powers discover who you are, the first thing that comes to their life is the time. When is he supposed to show up? Remember? When these three wise men came to Herod and they said, blah, 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 we saw a star. He didn't ask for anything. He said, where and when? He said, and he consulted with his astrologers as to the timing when the child will have been born. Isn't it so? And with that calculation, he now read, okay, children from this to that. Okay, let's kill them. Then I will get that child. Using time manipulation to deny me my glory. Listen, open your eyes. When they take you on a wrong time, this is what happens. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The Lord says I should tell you this, and you should listen carefully. Sit down and write it before you stand up. When they take your time, you begin to miss, not just that you miss everything. Now, let me explain it very well. Uh, the Bible says the blessings of God makes you rich and has no sorrow. Isn't it not so? Good. Now, why is it so? Because if God wants to take you to ladder two and you are in ladder one, he will prepare you for ladder two. Why you are on ladder one? So that by the time ladder two comes, all the resources, all the resources, meaning the power, the wisdom, the resilience, everything that you need to make ladder two or level two and succeed will have been done. Now, this is what happens. If the enemy delays you by ladder one, you will miss the anointing for ladder two. If you miss the anointing for ladder two, you miss the anointing for ladder three. You miss... Your life becomes a mess. So, you are no longer able to be ready or prepare. So, when you start doing deliverance, now, you now want to possess those things. Yeah, good. But then the timing is not right. So they are not fitted. They can't manifest. Some of the things, you are totally disqualified. Why? Because it has passed and the anointing you don't have and it's gone. But you are asking to possess it. What did they do? They only changed your timing. Am I, am I clear? Now, this is what happened. Then, instead of you preparing and having the power for that thing, you begin to meet all the things you shouldn't meet. 
Let me give you, the, let me give you an example. If the Holy Spirit tells you, um, you want to travel to um, do this, you say, um, wait for 30 minutes. Eh? The Lord talks to you. Wait for 30 minutes. That 30 minutes is potent. It's pregnant. One, you will discover that if you wait, all the things that will have happened within that 30 minutes could claim one million lives, including yours, but you are out. But if you don't wait, you will meet everything that you should have avoided. Why? You did not follow divine timing. People don't know what time means. That's why I gave you that subject. In the fullness of time, God Almighty himself keeps time. There is a time for you. Somebody cannot use your star until they can read your time. And when they see that they cannot stop you, they slow you. Stand up. We need to do something. Everything that the enemy used to slow me down. I'm explaining to what please follow us okay pastor what's the meaning everything the enemy used to throw me down if you are sick in the hospital will you go and write that exam huh? will you marry will you think of future we are struggling to be alive how many times one month two months three months one year three years five years you are still on that sickness the enemy has gotten you They have slowed you down. Or you have this poverty that you can't even enroll for one thing or the other. They have slowed you down. You miss everything you should have gotten. Every step you should have taken. You can't. You don't have money. Or they kill your helper. They have slowed you down. I, I'm, I'm, I, am I talking to somebody? Don't pray the way you are praying. Now. You don't know what I'm talking and you must know it. You are delaying us. Look at the time. We should be finished by now. We are on a special program. It's not ordinary Sunday. You must use it. Everything that slowed me down. Die by fire! Now you are going to pray it. Fast forward. Everything that will slow me down. I want to expose you. When they say that she has prayed through. Because sometimes the Lord talks to her. By dream or whatever means. Because she's suffering. When they see that she has gone through and she gets information. And the husband moves from where he's coming from. They release the turtle. And they have many turtles. They release the turtle. Either the man stops or she slows down. When the Lord is telling her, go this way, go this way. She says, okay, let me drop my bag. But she should have gone this way immediately. So she will, she, 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 she will go this way to, to go and drop this bag because it makes sense. That's why the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your strength. And do not lean what? But the understanding says, no, drop the bag first. Let them see you in the office first so that you won't be late. Is it not so? Yeah. But the Almighty God says, go this way. And if you go this way, there will not be a problem on that way. They have slowed you down. By the time you come to go this way, you miss that thing. You won't see anything. Say, ah, 
I'm just hearing voices. It cannot be God, but it was God. You disobeyed. Now watch and see. Well, now we're going to kill you. 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 Watch. Everything that slows me down. After every service. After every night. After any deliverance. That slows me down after every service, after every prayer, after every deliverance. Die by fire, die by fire. Great in Jesus. Some of you don't notice it. Sometimes I keep quiet. You know, I keep quiet because if I tell it, I have not taught it. Now I'm teaching it, and now I begin to tell you. When I see it in you, I will tell you. Some of you will hear the man said. Who proposing to marry you? So they say, I will call you later. You will never call. Something has happened. They have slowed you down. Either you made a mistake or he made a mistake. The time went wrong. Please, I want you to pray. I'm connecting you to your deliverance. I'm connecting you to a manifestation in this physical. Amen. Well, I'm not talking of physical, spiritual manifestation. Mm-mm. You must be who you are physically that you are spiritually. Amen. Everything that slows me down. Everything that slows me down. By wicked reasoning. By, wicked reasoning. by, circumstances. by circumstances. By witchcraft. By, witchcraft. by bewitchment. Disorder. Shout it. Every unfriendly friend. Every unconscious intervention. Every mistake. Every error. That will make me miss my time. of timing manipulating my divine timing I cut off your head 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 Look at me. Sometimes I will call some of you. I will say, go and do like this. I know you will not do it. And you will not do it. But I couldn't tell you, okay, why I told you to do this is because of divine timing. Some of you will not understand what I'm talking. But from now, I will tell you. The reason why I'm telling you to do this is because of this. Because I just taught you. Hmm. I want you to command now. First command. 
you better do it or I will come after you. Now, not in the spirit, physical. Every time I have missed, I summon you back now. By fire, by force. So that was my own. Now summon your own. I want you to summon your time that you missed. Oh yeah, want to go. I have given you one minute. I want to hear your sound. Okay. Obvious. Let me show you. I, I want to give you an example. You the time that I miss as a child. You the time as I miss as, as in my mother's womb. You the time I miss in every step of my way up to this age that the enemy made me miss. Oh yeah, come back. Now manifest. Now manifest. Now manifest. 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 Man. I want you now in my life. Physical. Phys- you talk. You talk. The time is watching your authority. Your authority is revealed by your voice. When Jesus came to the grave, he said, Lazarus, come forth. He didn't say, Father, bring him back. No. He said, he spoke with a loud voice. Isn't that so? Let your voice be loud. Are you ready? Want to go? I'll give you one minute. Now you are going to pray one serious prayer before you sit. I don't know whether I will finish this thing today. We are just taking only one. Maybe we will stop here. But let's finish this now. You are going to pray this prayer. Every charm. Every Every witch doctor. Every Every incantation. Every 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 ritual. Every spell. Every foundation, every evil word, every satanic agent, every evil tongue that stopped me, that manipulated my time, that will stop me, that will manipulate my time.
Sit down. Look. 9.51. That's where we'll stop today. The other two will finish next time. Luke chapter 9. Uh-huh. Verse 51. Uh-huh. Now it came to pass. Mm-hmm. When the time had come. When what? When what? Have you seen time again? Are you seeing time again? Seeing time again. Uh-huh. You see, when the time has come, always time, always time. That's why I went to her. Because I wanted to expose those powers. That's what they did to her. Sometimes she will put those away. Many times she doesn't listen. She's busy trying to satisfy them in the office. She's trying to uh, make the office. But that thing is telling her, go now. Go. Mm-mm. She missed she has always missed it. Out of ten, she gets one only. Because they enter and distort her time. They watch her every time. And they have bags of turtle. They are all dead now. They are put together, animals, they are put together to slow her. All of them have a drop of her blood that they collected from her father. That her first men's blood. They are on top of the turtle, on top of those animals. Oh, you see them? I'm seeing them now. They, 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 they. So when they finish, they release her. The name they use, Laurentia. Then they will write, Grace Amaka and cancel it. And put Laurentia. In the then they put murder at the end. That's how they will set the turtle. You know where they set the turtle? In an empty place. Empty, not even water. And you know that total? Uh, it's not fast. That's what they did to her. So suddenly, sometimes the man will get to the airport and turn back. Sometimes the man will miss his flight. Sometimes the man will just develop doubt and go away. Then later, there was a time the man went to the airport, changed his mind. Halfway he was going back, he came back again, changed his flight and came. But it was it. If he had come at that time, he would have met her where the Lord was leading him to meet her. They just changed the time. Some of you, sometimes the Lord will wake you up, say, study now. The time he woke you up to study now, the time the Spirit of God is telling you to study now, is when you are ready to study, everything is ready for you to study, but before you don't listen, mm, something will happen, the enemy will send somebody, or something will happen, the phone will ring, blah, 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 blah. You, by the time you go to study, the enemy has already prepared how to stop you. But the Lord called you before, so that you would have studied before they would prepare, so that they will be walking and chasing shadows. But you don't we don't follow time. Sometimes I'll just stand up and say, we're going out now. My man will just say, okay. Sometimes she will do one thing and say, I'll say, okay. I'll flow. That's how we go. Because I sense there is something. On Friday, we just stood up and said we're going for shopping. We went to where we we're going. We have even bought what we bought. And then suddenly, my man said he's going to check us. I said, hey, okay. I pushed the trolley. Then we got in there. As we just moved, in there. there was this woman and the son. And the Lord has been telling me this boy, he should serve me so that he can make him a man. But I say, the mother is lousy. I don't, don't want trouble. I don't want them to enter trouble. She's trying, but she's lousy with training. I said, leave them. I just love them that way. 
when I got there, because I followed the timing, I got loved him. When we got there, we had only one basket on our trolley. There was nothing. We didn't buy much. Suddenly, my master is buying bread. And we don't eat bread from there. He's going to buy bread for somebody. It's okay. By the time he put with bread, the little basket is full. I turned around, I saw him, I said, go and bring me another basket. Bah! He served the purpose. He got his manhood. Yeah. Just that way. And I didn't know what I was doing. It was when he brought the basket. The Lord said, oh, remember? I said, oh. <laughs> I smiled. And he was running, bringing it with all his heart. So the thing connected. Amen. That is how time. Stand up. Say every good time I have missed. Me. Some of you here, let me tell you, I don't want to point names down because time is gone. But, but some of you here, this is your problem of marriage. Time. Yeah. Put me anytime. If you like, go to other prophets. I'm a pastor and a prophet of the Lord. Time is your problem. Why? They just, if we can just delay this marriage. Watch how she will manifest now. If you can just delay this marriage, then the chances are this man will marry somebody else. Then these two will not meet. We'll give him another person. Therefore, we can kill this destiny. We cannot give it out. So, let him have this. Let, let, let him have that. Just, just, um, yeah. Make the man to go away. Make the man to go away. Many of you. Especially her. Especially her. Did you see me asking you to put flowers again? No. Because it was done. But you don't know how to possess it. Didn't you notice? I never asked you. You didn't put it now. Did I ask you? No. It has done its purpose. But to you to locate mm -mm, they will, you, your own, is a mountain. You must, you must climb it today. <laughs> if they can just make you miss the man by some seconds, you miss your destiny. Make many. Many. So we are, you are, and you are praying, your prayer is already answered. But the time, they won't tell you about time. <laughs> if you know what time means, you will not be praying like this. You will scream, all your beings will be out. It is time that made this woman to remain where she is now. Time, ordinary time. This one. Time. They just switch the time. Finish. It is time they used to do her. That time when she was nearly dead in the hospital. Pa. They did what they wanted to do. Now she's struggling to recover. I'm asking this question, who is ready?